Hey, Definitely Aaron here, coming to you from my bedroom to answer some science questions. So, today's questions are about birds. Question number one, how far can birds fly? About 50 billion birds are estimated to migrate every year, and many fly huge distances. Swallows, for instance, fly 6,000 miles to Britain from their winter home in southern Africa. However, they do stop off en route. Until recently, scientists thought that the limit for a non-stop flight was about 3,000 miles. However, in 2007, it was reported that a female, Bartail Goodwit, had been tracked by satellite. Why are we using our satellites for that? This is the reason I can't get faster internet, I'm annoyed. Anyway, it had been tracked from satellite all the way from Alaska to New Zealand. This was without stopping and the bird flew an astonishing 7,145 miles. So how does that compare to what humans can do? Well, without help, we can't fly very far, really. Elliot, gravity's gonna win. No, it won't. Nothing beats me. But an Airbus A340 to 500, the furthest an Airbus can go is 9,529 miles. So why don't birds fry on power lines? Electricity flows only when there's a voltage difference. So if a bird lands on a single wire with one certain voltage, they'll be fine. The danger comes when they touch a neighbouring cable with a different voltage, or part of a pylon that connects them to Earth. That allows a powerful electric current to flow that <laughs> kills them instantly. And not surprisingly, large birds are more at risk. Quick fact, electrocution is a significant cause of death for eagles in America and Europe. Okay, then that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm definitely Owen. Feel free to check out any of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video. So if a bird lands on a single cable at one... Shut up, dog. Shut up.